Welcome back, everyone. Aloha and all that jazz. We are continuing. This is Subject Neutral playing Stellaris. Hopefully you should know all this by now. Uh, we're just gonna, gonna jump right to it. My fleet is off mopping up some of the enemies nearby so I can expand easier. We are... <clears throat> oh, it's not been surveyed. Shit. Yeah, like, um... Just to mention, like, the past couple episodes that we started doing tonight, mm -hmm. like, I was lagging really hard, and I guess something decided to quit. So, uh... Oh, shit! Uh, remember how you were saying the, the sensor range or something like that? Yes. I think I may have figured that out. Oh, okay. Um, if... Uh, sorry, I keep over-talking to you. Yeah, yeah, but, no, like, no, go for it. But, like, if you uh, select a ship, um, I guess... Uh, like, I've got my first fleet selected right now, okay. and I have a yellow a dashed circle around it, and I guess it's the range in which it can jump from planet to planet. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe that's the range, because I guess it sort of makes sense that your sensor range is to sense where a planet is so you can jump to it. Okay, yeah. Oh, that so. makes sense. I'll buy it. Ooh, actually... I think I know what I want to do. Let's see here. Yeah, there's no one in there. Come on, crush the so enemy. So I will go here. Yeah, I can actually explore some of the planets here. Mm -hmm. Um, what happens in a in a black hole? Nothing. It's just like another place. Usually, it gives you some pretty good research. Like if you um build a research station around it, but there's nothing otherwise special. Oh, I am four minerals away from being able to build a station. So I've spent two episodes swearing up and down that I'm going to upgrade stations. And I'm finally <laughs> sort of doing it. Look at this. Look at the viewers, if you're seeing this for the first time, look at this glitched out planet. That that planet has legitimately spawned like this. I renamed it to Ire because I'm a StarCraft nerd. But otherwise, I've done nothing to it, and it's it spawned like that. It's freaking ridiculous. Huh. Uh, oh, it's, um, I just got the Regarian uh, Confederate States. Okay. And it's the whole fact that uh, they don't like me because I guess I'm a military... Uh, Situation log updated. Regarian? Because I'm a military... Uh, my people, they... they they go to military, and uh, these people, they're uh, pacifists. On the positive side, at least they're miles away. True. Oh. Society research. Come on, baby. Borders, ranges. Unlock clearing. Monthly influence. Oh, that's good. Oh, I try and aim for those ones myself. All right, done deal. Where do I want to sort of expand to? So I have my first fleet. Um. Okay. We're gonna go north. Oh. Everyone, everyone okay. There we go. Line. I just had to click on something. Oh shit. Oh. Shits and giggles. And the heresy uh, begins their uh, constant insults again. Oh, that we're probably going to have to fight them. Oh, we can't actually fight them. I noticed you have a non-aggression pact after your war with them. So we have... Yeah, that, that's where it gave me a lot of uh, energy oh, okay. credits. So he was bribing you to not kick his ass at a future date. Still there? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm go. just uh, reading the uh, heresies insults. Yeah, good Such, times. Such, uh... Oh, more research. New research. Oh. Um, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I don't remember anymore. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's where they bribed you to be nice to them, essentially. Yeah. I'm just, I'm looking to where I want to expand... I've still got a fair bit of space around me, but I don't want to get too near the Fallen Empire. And to the north of us looks not scary, but busy. There's a lot of fighting happening over there. 
And I can't help but notice the AI all seem to like expand pretty fast to get a lot of planets. Every all the AIs I see that I can see stuff in their borders generally have a good number of planets all set up. I'm wondering if we should try and oh he's at war. The the green guy is still fighting that stupid signer hierarchy. Yeah. I, I was going to say I wonder if we should bother going to war or inviting some of the other powerful people around us into an alliance, but I don't think they're close enough that they'd sort of bother to do it. Ooh, uh, good. I like these. Oh, sweet. Oh, Found okay. another Arctic world. This was more important. Yeah, I'm getting ready to expand again. I'm actually going to leave. Did you notice I... What was this? The neutral alliance? Changing yeah. on me? <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I changed it. I figured out how I could change it with yeah. the, the little. You can, you can change systems and planets. You can rename them the same way. You just have to click on the name wherever it is, and you can do it for people too. So like I've changed a couple of system names. Like I've got Victory. I've got Ire. All you have to do is when you click on the system, then click on the name at the bottom of the map, and you can change the name and everything. Ship. I do I want to do shitty, terrible things. Survey system. What the hell is this? Oh, it's physics that. Okay. Okay. Um, I am going to do some shitty, terrible things that could result in me getting destroyed. I think, possibly not in this episode, possibly in the next episode, because I'm sort of I've just spent an awful ton of money. But I'm might leave the alliance to go finish destroying the senior hierarchy only so i can purge all like all the aliens out of existence okay mostly because i don't want them there i want that space yeah and i i'd rather not have them nearby in case we get to war with other people Mhm. Mm yeah kind of like Get, take care of one problem. Yeah, exactly. We'll take him out of the way, and that way we just we don't have to worry about it. And it still fits with the I'll be the bad guy in the alliance who will genocide them to clear the planet, and that way we just we frankly won't have to worry about them ever again. Yeah. So that means and, uh, yeah, so everyone will hate you, but be cut. I'll uh, uh, put them in an alliance. Yeah, and uh, you can convince them to join the alliance, and I'll literally annihilate anyone who gets in our freaking way. Okay. You should actually start get an embassy with that purple guy, the Galactic Pro Vulgar people and start making friends with them. Because if we can get them into an alliance, we pretty much control the entire south of the map, almost. Oh, shoot, actually, uh, a yeah, construction ship. I'm actually gonna... Uh, also, for the people watching me here on Ire, this is going to be a straight up just exploration fleet that will do nothing but wander around. Hey, how are you doing for uh, for minerals right now? Um, I've got uh, one grand. Okay. Oh shit! Okay, so huh, I accidentally hit my uh, one button, so uh, this video is going to be split into two. No problem. So, I've done that before. Yeah, I missed about one second, so. Oh, that yeah, that's not going to matter at all. I'm quite happy with how our split screen thing has been doing. Like uh, our videos, it looks quite nice, actually. Yeah, yeah, I know that's that was quite the uh, nice idea, eh? Yeah, it is, and I'm really happy it worked out. Mm -hmm, me too. Adaptive bureaucracy, be all adaptive. Uh, Diplomacy or whatever. Oh, that was that was fantastic. Research complete. S yeah, let's do that. What do you did not already have of me? Um, 
trade deals. So there's a lot of energy stuff. Okay, construction so ships. Sensor link, Can bonus. I do stuff in there? Oh, it's just out of my range. And I'm at plus one that. Oh, oh. wait, here we go. Um, budget. Policies. I don't. Oh, yeah. I, I really don't like the various research stuff I've been getting so far. Oh, as a gift to celebrate the friendship between our two civilizations, a caravan from the subterranean allies on Hope have brought a large quantity of gemstones to the surface. Stones such as these are apparently mined by their empire deep underground, as close to the planet's core as they dare venture. How kind! Well, that's that... holy crap! They actually gave me quite a bit. That's very nice of them. I wish they would give me stuff. <laughs> Information. Oh, <laughs> search. <laughs> Encourage free thought. Colony ship. Oh yeah, fuck. That's right. Oh, I haven't fucking done it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting. I have a colony ship parked over a planet waiting for it to get surveyed so I can go land on it. Oh. I didn't uh. notice this. I am just burning all the cash I was saving for totally other things, but I'll take it. God, another trade deal expired with you, and I still have no idea what it was. Yeah. I guess it's... If it's, uh, if we really, uh, oh, alien. Do, do, do. Oh, so someone used a mining laser and created, um, the largest newspaper ever on the planet surface. <laughs> oh, and it appears to be a story of, uh, the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, shit. Everything's coming up. Yeah, I, uh, I had a shit ton of stuff pop up on my end, too. Uh, let's pop it there. Stop. Okay, where the hell was that broken world thing? Oh, you're already gonna go do it. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for absolutely nothing. Yeah, tons of stuff popped up for me, too. Oh, for the love of God, hurry up. I just want to colonize you. Because then I can lead my army to go crush the senior hierarchy once and for all. My, mm. my energy is full. I have max energy. That's the first time that's happened in, like, any of my games. Okay. Oh, I have a research, or a purely exploring fleet that can go off and get annihilated for all I care. And ten bucks says they will. Hmm. Because I am not historically very nice to my fleets. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Do I need food? Uh, no, construction I ship. Come here. So one of the things I wish they did that would be really nice is I wish you could send extra food to a different planet. Because, like, you only need enough food for your population. So on my home world, I currently have, like, plus 10 extra food that's not doing anything. I would really like to be able to send that food to, like, my new colony to help it grow. Or to one of my other planets. So, like, I'd like a planet that I could do just mineral mining, and then I'd import all the food so I don't have to worry about building food places there. But that's not something you can currently do. Oh. Ugh. Stupid, uh... Stupid rebels on Carcania, or... Not Carcania! Yeah, or... Yeah, or Carcania, that's it. Uh... I got the minerals. Hey, I got a... I got oh, shit, that was quick. What the heck was uh, taking hope so long? 
Uh, who knows? Oh, 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 Hope does have one. Hey! Oh, okay, build. Let's upgrade to level two so I can get oh, the, uh... Stop it. Corvette and Destroyer. I just Oh yeah, now my uh my naval capacity jumped up to uh, 33. Yeah, as soon as you start expanding your naval capacity goes way up. All right. So now that I can actually colonize uh stuff. Let's see here. Arctic world. The world of both sides. Colonize planet. Do I need anything here? No, so you can get split off into a separate thing. Great. Another colony ship. Woo! I have two sectors already. I don't need two sectors, but I've got two sectors. <laughs> it's actually probably not a great plan to have two sectors already like this. But we're doing it. It would be nice too, and I hope they get to it eventually. It would be nice if you could do more with your sectors. Because right now, like, you can tax them and they'll send you stuff. But that's kind of it. It doesn't go much further than that. What do you mean by uh, sectors? When, like, so you see, you can only have, say, like, five planets under your control at any time. If you get over that, it costs you a ton of energy. So what you can do is you create a sector. And a sector is it's still part of your empire but you don't directly manage it. It's the AI essentially manages it. So it's it's nice because it will do things. The AI will build stuff. The AI isn't bright. The main reason for the update that happened just recently was to make the AI that runs your sectors better because they were kind of crappy. But uh, when you make the sector, you can still tax it. So they'll send you like 75% of whatever they're making, depending on how high you set their taxes and stuff like that. But that's all they really do so far. It would be nice if you could <laughs> ask them to send you more stuff, if you could have them build military things. Uh, well, anyway, I'm colonizing a third planet uh, way out in the outer rim. And it's an Arctic planet. And can you guess what the name of it is? What? what? And it, it's named after um, uh, a certain place in uh, on Earth. It's Alaska. I found yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you went real far out there on the rim. That's about as far as you can go. Uh, well, yeah, I was just thinking with that uh, construction ship. All right. Let's see here. What can I do? What can Build you do? Mining station. Do? Let's see if I can... Can I do it there? I probably shouldn't be building research. that station, that thing. Research. Build research. Okay. Woo! Oh, stop it. I want you to... Alright. I want you to merge. So what happens if I go in a black hole? Nothing. No, nothing that I've noticed, at least. Because I'm sort of like particularly uh um scared that like i'm gonna send my big massive military fleet in there and it's gonna be like death but uh what's this guy's set for um not disband what? freaking um, fleet stance evasive okay so if he pops in there and there's a bunch of evil aliens in there he's gonna leave so i'm gonna survey system after oh what's this join alliance oh wait someone's oh. asking you to join their alliance yeah the galactic pro valgavon nation hey they're the ones, people they're the ones we want to get to join our alliance send them hey, we would like to join the great new the the great the neutral alliance so i'm going to take the out of neutral alliance if you would have us i say yes yeah i'd say so Oh, I get to vote on it. I could say no, but no, we want them on our team. Yeah. Because that essentially hands us control of this whole south part here. 
the Salemi Empire is going to get fucked. They're ugly squid people. So I'm going to actually, the next episode, because this is 18 out of 20 minutes, I'm getting my fleets in position. Next episode, I'm going to leave the Alliance and just destroy these the senior hierarchy once and for all. But then after yeah, that... Yeah, because they're starting to become quite the uh, uh, thorn in yeah. my side right now because they just destroyed another building. Yeah, like, they're just, they're annoying. They'll never be a threat, not after we ruin them, but they're going to be annoying. Oh, shit, here we go. Grant the colony Carcania independence as a vassal, a vassal empire. That's a, so pretty much... That could be uh, good, because you'd, you'd be able to stop worrying about rebels nonstop. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, well, I just want to... Uh, I'll pretty much uh, decide that in the next episode, because you wanted to end it here now? Well, we've got like a whole one minute left. Okay, so... um, Fleet orders finish. Okay, so I just want to see... Uh, surface... Okay, all these guys. Um, how do I uh, oop. how do I get send the uh, uh the armies out? Cause I want to take all my generals and assault armies. Oh, embark all. Oh that yeah, makes I, sense. Was, I was get. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. I wasn't sure what you were talking about there. Yeah, cause I still had uh troops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, scientists gained a trait. Yeah, that's always nice when they gain trades. Doesn't happen super often. Good for nice. him. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and we will call this episode here. This has been another fun episode with Subject Neutral. Next time there will be a war and the senior hierarchy will be literally genocided off the face of the universe. Because as soon as I take that planet, they're all dead. <laughs> so we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.